Better known to you as America, but we know it as the land of us, <laughs> land of the Chaldeans, you know, and all the and Arsereth and all the above, man, etc. But we are the brothers from uh, GMS, Port City Mobile account. You know, like I said, we come week in, we got the prophets out of down for the Queen of all America. But before we start, we want to give a uh, turn to the east with all praise, honor, and glory to we're going to give double honors to all apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Peace, blessings, salutations to the OB elect. Shalom. 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 All right, we just going to get right into it, man. We're going uh, to break out the first precept of Ezekiel 9 and 4. Straight to the front. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sat and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Yeah, that's the Lord telling the angel to go and smite man because why? It's spirits that are created for vengeance. If somebody want to hold that, you know, the spirits that are created for vengeance. So the Lord told the spirit to go and smite man. The smite means to kill. Everybody that don't have that mark, that mark of exemption, from judgment, man, the judgment of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, which is that mark goes into the walk. And like I say, it's a mark of exemption, man, from judgment. You know, it's mm. two types of mark. It's, it's the, the one mark you want, and that's the mark of exemption from this judgment, man. I got that spirit. Oh, you got it, go ahead. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 39, verse 28. Mm -hmm. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Yo which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Mm -hmm. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force yep. and appease the wrath of him that made them. To appease the wrath of him that made them. <laughs> you know, and we know that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh is the father of spirits, man. Mm. He created all spirits, whether they be good spirits or evil spirits, man. Mm. You know, you got spirits on the left hand side, which are demons. They do the work of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. You got angels, righteous angels, man. They do also do the work of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, man. On the right hand side. Right. You good? Yeah, you good. Okay, go good. Uh, verse 29. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Yeah, all those were created for vengeance, man. Read that one more time. Fire. Fire, meaning the meaning the lake of fire. Yeah. Thermonuclear missiles, man. And like we finna get into with this lesson, the the uh the the digital currency, man. The digital currency leads to that other mark. That other mark in which you don't want, man, because that leads to the lake of fire. You will be judged for receiving that mark, man. You said fire. And hell. And hell. And famine. And famine. And death. And death, man. You know, <laughs> because <laughs> hey, it's, it's Lamentations, mourning, and woes in this Bible, man. Yeah. You know, we understand the sweet part of it, and we understand the bitter part of it, man. Yeah. You know, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is a complete balance. He don't deal with one side without dealing with the other side, man. Mm -hmm. Got some on it, that's it on that? It say, all these were created for vengeance. All those were created for vengeance, and those spirits, they bring on that vengeance, man. Whether it's causing you to starve, whether it, basically, they working on the minds of the elites right now to cause this to cause this global famine, man. To cause this food shortage, you know. To cause them to bring apart World War Three, uh, you know. You got it. Verse thirty: Teeth of wild beasts yep. and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Yup. Teeth of wild beasts, man. Let's just deal with that for a second because hey, if a motherfucker get ate up by a dog. You know what I'm saying? You got lacerations all in their face, everywhere. Ultimately, die. That's judgment from the Lord, man. Huh. 
That's what it means to fill your whole body up, y'all was shot because he can bring your worst fill upon you, man. Uh, you got it. That said, boy, at the beginning of wisdom, uh, uh, is, the, is uh, the fear of the Lord. Yep. Correct. Man, verse 31, it says, They shall rejoice in his commandments, yep. and they shall be ready upon the earth when need, when need is, mm -hmm. and when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. Hey, so that's like you got a, a player. When you when the coach call on his number, hey, it's time for you to go out there and do your job, right? Right. You know, the, the, the quarterback got the ball in, 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 in the huddle. You say, all right, for the call on number 88. Receiver, wide receiver. Right. He's gonna run near rock. Da 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 bam. Alright, so we get up, get back up to behind the center, hike the ball. Hey, it's time for you to do your job, baby. Right. Because your number has been called upon. That's just right. like with the angels, man. When the angels get called upon, they happy to do their damn job, man. Yeah. To appease the wrath of them of him that made them, man. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going on right now. These spirits are active right now, right. man. That's why you see people getting shot up in goddamn uh, road rages. These cops going ham on these E's, Jake's, all the above, man. Right. That's these spirits created for vengeance working on the minds of these fucking people. Right. These two thirds and these heathens, man. Cause you all got to die. Uh, hey, hey, if I, if I might add, that's just like the Lord said, hey, I know what you can do, all right? You get out there and go, go do your thing, you know? Go out there and please me, you know? <laughs> hey, that, that, that's, hey. That, that's 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 the um the spirits man. Yep. The, the Lord created spirits for for uh, vengeance man. Yep. Hey, oh, and, and, and they they ready, they ready to go out there and, and do what they capable of doing man. Yep. And the perfect example of when the Lord had a council with the angels, the king that killed that one king. He had a council with the with the, with the spirits. Who mm -hmm. could come up with the best idea to kill one of them? This is uh First Kings 22 and verse 18. And the king of Israel and the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, Did I not tell thee that he would prophesy no good concerning me but evil? And he said, Hear thou, therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, and all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. See, the Lord controlled both sides, man. The Lord is ambidextrous through the spirit, man. Yeah. Like that lesson we did. He controlled the left-hand side and he controls the right-hand side. Ambidextrous meaning, you know, just a corner sense, somebody that can write with their left hand and write with their right hand, man. Yeah. You know, the Lord does both, man. He is a complete balance, like we just stated. It says, um, and he said, Hear thou there for the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne and all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one said on this manner and another said on that matter. So they make suggestions she and I got that be the arrow. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'd be a, a, a white man with a sword. Yeah. Yeah. I'd toss him off the horse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the suggestion box. Yeah. Verse 21. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lion spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him. And prevail also. See, the Lord gave him basically dominion to persuade him and to prevail, man. 
That's like when he gave Satan the authority to go and tempt Job. He told he told him to, to, to do whatever you please, but just don't kill him, man. See, the Lord is the ultimate judge, man. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is the ultimate judge, man. It's gonna be his will or, or death, man. Ain't no fucking free will, man. That like a motherfucker get caught in the elevator. The Lord put the spirit on the elevator to close up on his ass, man. Oh, the evil right. spirit right. or righteous, you know, a spirit mm -hmm. was on that elevator to close on your, your ass, man, to kill you. Yep. That movie, uh, what's the final destination? Mm -hmm. You know, that shit happened in real life. That would be spirits allowing yeah, you to man. get took out. Like, Right. A lot yeah. of people get took out in the worst way. Right. Be strategically so. set up. You know? uh, oh, man. It says, I'll read again, verse 23. Now, therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets, and the Lord hath spoken evil concerning thee. But I think that was pretty much the point. That you yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, that was pretty much the point, man. You know, that spirit said, <laughs> he will be a lying spirit, man. And he would persuade him, and the Lord gave him gave him dominion that you know he would prevail in being a lying spirit, man. You know? So that's what it means to fear Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man, because he got those spirits that are created for wind. You can't even see the fucking spirits, so how you gonna defeat them? Right. You got to stay spiritual. You got to stay prayed up. You got to stay on Yahweh by Shem Yahushua team in order to, to survive, man. Because the Lord say He ain't gonna put no more on us than we can bear. And, and with the temptation, he gonna make a way of escape, man. So you got to trust in him, man. Yeah. Yeah. In Psalms chapter 68 and verse 19, it reads, Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh, who daily loaded us with benefits, even the Lord, even the power of our salvation to me. Verse 20, it's a lot. Say he that is our power is the power of salvation. Wow. And until 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 God the Lord be until God until Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah be long the issues from death. Right. You know? So uh, if if somebody right. died, man, the Lord did it, man. Right. Everything right. that go down in the earth is sanctioned of the Lord. It's counsel that go on in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual realm, oh. and, and they get sent out upon the earth, man. Right. You know? And, and that's why the scripture tell you that um, I seen under the sun a place of judgment. Yep. You know, and the earth is up underneath the sun. When the sun rises, what's up underneath it? This planet. You know, ain't nobody got them floating up, up under the earth. Right. You know, just floating out of space getting judged. No. They on the earth and getting judged upon the earth, man. Right. Every morning do the Lord bring his judgment to light. That's right, man. That's right, man. That's just like the scriptures say, um, basically, you know, roughly paraphrasing, a, a, a foul shall not, you know, go down unless the Lord ordained it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know right, man. Right. Hey, because uh, these are all the Lord's instruments of, of killing and judgment. You know, mm -hmm. the sword, Esau, Edom, the militaries of the earth. The UN, the teeth of wild beasts, these spirits created for vengeance that we can't see, like the brothers are saying. You watch videos on YouTube, you could see apparitions, you know, hovering and shit yep. that you can't see with the naked eye, and that's the Lord's judgment, you know? Uh, uh, you be able to see it with the camera because the Lord is trying to show the world, man, uh, through, through, the, uh, through the internet, through the uh, uniform, man. You can see it with the naked eye, though, like you said. Uh, Lord allow the Lord allow you to see what He wants you to see, man. You know. Yeah, you got it. It's, uh, Revelation six and eight, and I looked, it's like you're six and seven. And when He had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, "Come and see." And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him. Oh. And death, definition, I'm just getting the definition in the blue letter is it say the separation from the body, from the spirit and the soul. It's and, and the word hell, it means uh 
the, the grave. And you know, it says, Hell followed with him, and power was power was given unto him over the fourth part of the earth, the fourth part of the earth, which that's Esau. It says, so like what? Oh, so like yeah. Man. So like that's that's America. They say to kill with sword and hunger and with death and with beast of the earth. And what is going into the destruction that's going to come upon this place? Going into the concentration camp, the starvation, and all these different plagues. That's what that pale horse represents. That's going to hit America. Man. And all that, that, that pale horse is gonna have a whole bunch of spirits created to visit with them, man. Shoo. You know, the spirit created for vengeance gonna jump off that motherfucker and go crazy, man. Oh. Then we get y'all got Ezekiel Land. Ain't that uh, uh Proverbs 21? You might need to start at the top of the Ezekiel Land. Ezekiel Land. Which way else? Um, uh, Proverbs 21 where it say a man's goings of the Lord. And then cause hey, you got CERN. Which is, you know, Esau fucking with the, the, the particles, the, the, the elements. Hydro, hydro, uh, hydro collider. Yeah, hydro collider. Hey, that's the Lord doing that. Trying to open up portals and shit. Yeah, he is opening up, you know. Yeah. You know, opening up different portals and shit. Demons, you know, bringing demons. That's why people get so weak. Yep. That's yeah. why, like you were just saying, out of you roll, it ain't nothing got down to go on. World star hip hop and see a motherfucker busting out the goddamn pickup truck. Yeah. That a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Ain't nothing to see that. that. That's something that usually don't happen. That shit happen like all the time now. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfuckers get killed over a fucking road rage incident. Motherfuckers shooting in the car. Kids in the car. They don't give a damn who in the car. They just busting. Yeah. Just because you cut them off. Yeah. Uh, you driving too slow. Just because they mad, man. Uh -huh. You know? And those are the spirits that you saw. Releasing into the earth with that hydro cloud, open up portals. Don't call And we know he trying to do more wickedness than that. Oh, this nigga oh. trying to be the look. He trying to be your Howard. Yep. You know he trying to be. He is, <laughs> right. but he ain't man. He ain't trying to be the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to be the one that he is. This is Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 1. Mm -hmm. It said, He cried also in my ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that change over the city, oh. that, that have charge over the city, to draw near with every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. Mm -hmm. And that's basically going into the nukes, man. You got it. Verse 2. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lieth toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with a writer's ink horn by his side. And they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. Yeah, and they, you know, it ain't going directly into the nuke, but at the, the ultimate. You know, play that's gonna hit this place here gonna be the new. Uh -huh. See, uh, you'll have to read verse 8 to get to understand know what was going on in, um, man, what was that? You think it was just Babylonian? It was probably not Babylonian, it probably was Syria. But whatever empire Ezekiel was in, the wickedness that our people was doing, you know, and the Lord brought those. Uh, Death angels now, man. You know, those spirits created for vengeance. There, you know, every one of them had a slaughter weapon in their head, ready to render vengeance on our people that were being wicked, man. Right, right. You know, now it's going to happen again because if you read chapter 8, you'll see what they were doing, the same thing going on. You know, the same thing going on now, but, but worse, man. No, wicked as fuck. You know? 
verse 3 and the glory of the most high of Israel was gone up from the cherub 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 where upon he was to the threshold of the house and he called to the man clothed with linen which had the writer's ink horn by his side verse 4 the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Right, you know, we not week in and week out signing and crying for the abomination done in the midst of Babylon, the great, right. this wicked ass kingdom which ruled the whole earth. You know, brothers all around the world. Pride and sign, man. Mm -hmm. For all the wickedness that go on, on, on daily here, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. And one of the main one of the main abominations is gonna get ready to bring on that CBDC, man. You know, because the CBDC, the central main digital currency, it leads to that muck, man. It leads to that corrupt right. That muck in which is gonna get you destroyed, man, in, in the thermonuclear missiles, man. Right. You know? That's what that's one of the that's one of the abominations right there. That's the, basically the main abomination, man. You know. Uh, you got some more in that sign of prayer. I think I think that's pretty much the point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get go to uh, Go to, go to Verse 5. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Smite mean to kill, man. Right. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Yep. Verse 6. Spirit don't the spirit ain't gonna have no pity, man. Spirit, hey, the spirit don't have no emotion basically, man. Hey, they're gonna do what the Jehovah show me out said, and that's that. Right. Verse 6. Slay utterly old and young. Utterly old and young. All you fucking, all you fucking hoochie grandmamas out here, man. Mm. You know, they taught your they taught your daughters how to twerk. And now your daughters teaching their daughters how to twerk and all that dumb shit, man. They mm. got it, man. There's no respect to person with No respect to person. Uh, that's it, man. Yeah. You don't give well, you damn. going against him or doing something that you are not. Yep. Hey, the Lord put your ass on it, man. Yep. That's why we repent daily and we hope, you know, for mer the mercy, the sure mercy of David. Yep. Right. You know? And then the Lord can kill us right now, you guys. No. Okay, y'all come because, like, people want to say it was just an innocent baby. Man, nobody has ever perished being innocent, man. Right. If it was a fucking baby, that baby had sins that it did in its past life. Right. And now that it's being brought back on the earth, it's time for you to receive your fucking judgment early. You just received the judgment early. That's all it was. You don't have you don't have no more space to be any more wicked right. than you was in your past life. Hey, you ain't even get to see the earth. <laughs> you ain't get to, to, to realize where you was before. All I you saw was silhouettes, goddamn, when you were born. Right. Man. You know, everything is fucking blurry. Mm. You ain't even gonna get to your vision just yet. I'm putting your ass to death, man. That's the judgment of the Heavenly Father, man. Mm. And, and a lot of you fucking women, y'all getting ready to eat y'all kids again, man. Mm. Just like they did in, in, in the Book of Kings, man. They saw their children and they ate them. Right. That's getting ready to come back, man. Y'all just don't know it yet. It happened in, in the 70 AD. Yup. All the sieges. When the siege happened, you surrounded. You can't go. Uh -huh. Can't nothing come in. Can't nothing go out. Oh, wow. no. You don't uh -huh. want to suffer that torture and punishment for uh, 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 those who got you surrounded. Guess what? You gonna stay in there and, and try to survive the best you can. That's where you can, you know. Uh -huh. And that, like you just quoted, or oh, ain't nothing new under the sun. You know, the Lord required that which is past. So what happened back then is gonna happen in these times that we in now, man. It's just all a matter of time. And the Lord is speeding up the time, so it's getting ready to happen fast, man. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, little fat pack gonna be a snack snack. <laughs> <laughs> A snack pack. Boy, hey, that little ass ain't burnt the shit out of me, boy. He mad in them noops, boy. Shit, boy, I don't want them. That little ass ain't burnt the hell out of me like that, man. I'm scared of the noops, y'all, man. I don't want them. Deliver us from the old noop, man. He mad in your whole body. Getting just a, just a steam like that, man. That was just a steam right there, man. And that ain't even, you know, that ain't even really that hot. Right. That ain't no million. Right. million degrees. Yeah. hundred million degrees. Yeah. And your, 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 your flesh, what, consume away at 100 and hey. something degrees? Hey, that big gonna leave a mark. Then it's gonna make your shit consume away slow. Oh, you're gonna melt. You know how, how much heat it takes to melt skin, man? Yeah. Uh, 100 and something degrees. It's gonna melt your ass like a candle. Oh! Man, that's scary, bro. That's scary, man. That's scary. You, you had something up? Yeah. I was just going to say to back y'all up. The scripture say, Ezekiel 9, the Lord said, go through and slay utterly old and young. Yep. Meaning, like the brother said, ain't no respect of okay. persons with the Lord. And like they say, with the normalcy bias, you, you so-called Americans today, you find any silver lining or inkling of, of hope right when somebody when, when somebody come and uh give you warning right. they're like oh yeah that may not happen no the lord said he gonna slay utterly old and young you fucking israelites that don't want to turn back to him yep. and that's what the lord coming and do yep. and just like you say they say oh that ain't gonna happen hey that's why the lord say let not the incredulity of them trouble you man that ain't gonna be our <laughs> lifetime okay Shit. Not on my watch. Okay, that's how I joke. Okay. It's gonna be on your watch, motherfucker. And it's gonna be on your children's children's watch. Cause right. all, you got grandchildren ultimately. Right. You know? Yes, it is. But verse 6, it says, Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. Oh, going cold, man. Mm. No respect, you, man. Yeah. And women. Yep. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And we know the majority of the two thirds are gonna be women. Because women outnumber men, man. The majority of the two thirds gonna be women. The majority of the one thirds gonna be women. Because Isaiah 4 and 1 got to come into play, man. Well, seven women, and seven is only a number of completion. It's gonna be way more than that. Women taking a hold of one man, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. It say, and begin at my sanctuary. Yeah, because the Lord say, hey, judgment going to begin with the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we are the ones under that blood covenant, man. Mm -hmm. We are the ones under that, under that, under that, like I say, that blood covenant, that contract that the Lord made with us, man, on Mount Sinai, man. Mm -hmm. That's it on it's, it say, then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. <laughs> Ancient man. Verse was, was, was supposed to have all the knowledge to teach the young man. Mm. Verse 7. And he said to them, defiled the house and filled the courts with the slain. Go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. Yep. The city of Jerusalem, man. Mm. And we are the city of Jerusalem, man. So far, Negroes, Hispanics. Latino, Native, and Seminole Indians, man. Mm. This right here is basically talking about a spiritual city now. Mm. You know? <laughs> hey, it's gonna get real, real out here, man. All right, now we can get into that, uh, because that's what we come, that's what we come out here to do. The sign and cry for these abominations that's being done in the midst of us, man. If you ain't signing and crying for these abominations, then you must be with it. That's why I say, Woe in second is 15, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Cause if you in this what the Lord say, if you the love of if you got the love of the Lord, the love of the world, yep. the love of the Lord ain't in you. Ain't in you. Right. 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 right, man. And if he don't love you, that means he gonna destroy your ass, man. Yeah. Because like I say, the scriptures say the Lord only love those that dwell with wisdom. What wisdom? His the wisdom that he given us, man. He giving it freely, man. Freely. Not not the wisdom of the world. Right. Because the wisdom of the world is foolishness. 
Yeah. To the most high. Yeah. This Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins. And that's what we do, you know. Video after video, we crying aloud and we spare not, man. Cause we don't care about a motherfucker feelings and all that old bullshit, man. Right, man. It ain't about your feelings, it's about thus said the Lord, man. Hey, right. <laughs> with the Lord, feelings get hurt. It's right. just like with your kid, you'll hurt their fucking feelings, man. Right. Your feelings don't fucking matter. The right. Lord know what's best for you. Fuck your feelings. Right. You know, the Lord ain't our friend. Right. He our father, man. Right. You know? Hey, you got you to be a man of the Lord before anything, you know. Right. You know, what, what, what is, is, is getting on people. You know, hey, correct other people, hey. Correct your damn self too. Right, man. You can't be a hypocrite too. Yeah, hey, we get hurt too, you yeah, know what I'm saying, shit. You, yeah. you get cut too, right. you know, going through the truth. Right, yeah. Coming into the truth, he ain't just coming to the truth and <laughs> ain't had no spot, no blame. No, we had to change, we had to fix shit and we still custody. Daily got to fix shit, got to work on things, man. Yeah. You know, because we're not perfect. And we, uh, you know, humble enough to admit that we need the Lord, man. All right, man. You know, we sick. We need a physician, man. Right, man. Physician of value, man. Yeah. Because when you get to swinging that sword, you're liable to cut yourself, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's being a hypocrite, a hypocrite to cut yourself, man. You know, that's why it's best not to be a hypocrite in this truth, man. Especially when you get to judge them, man. You got to judge yourself first and foremost before you try to judge somebody else, right? You literally feel it when you get cut with these scriptures. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there you go. There you go. You got one for right yeah. This is 2nd Ezra 14 and 14. It says, let go from the mortal thoughts. Okay. Cast away the burdens of man. And mortal, mortal meaning that you can die, man. Mortal is flesh. Flesh is bound to die. Immortality is when we get those new, those new bodies, those incorruptible bodies that are, are, are not gonna sin, man, whatsoever. We're gonna live forever, man. That's, that's what being a, an immortal is. See, right now we're mortals. We're seeking for immortality when Yahweh shall come back with those new bodies, man. That's when that's when immortality shall take upon us, man. You got it. They say. Cast away the burdens of man, mm -hmm. put off now the weak nature, yep. and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto because, thee. Because this flesh, this flesh gives you a weak nature, man. When you always trying to do things that, that please this flesh, man, you take on a weak ass nature, man. And ultimately being caught up in, in the world that's gonna be destroyed. Right. You caught up into some shit that's that's gonna be so uh, 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 none remember not even gonna be re fucking members, man. Ooh. It ain't gonna be no plaques of, of a fucking America, man. Hell no. And you caught up with the burdens of this place, man. No. That's why the Lord gonna uh, intercept our people as a thief in the night, man, because they ain't fucking paying attention, man. Uh. And they caught up on bullshit that's, that's gonna be soon gone. Mm -hmm. This shit over with, man. It ain't no future for Babylon the Great, man. You shouldn't be trying to establish shit. If you ain't got nothing already, man, fuck that shit. Man. Focus on your high about shit and how it's shy. And all these things gonna be added unto you, man. And I don't want nothing here, man. I want it in the kingdom, man. Well, no, you know, because what? You know, you gonna have you you say you go get a, get some land or some shit like that. Now you gotta pay this motherfucker taxes. Yep. You get a car and all that shit, you gotta pay for that, and I ain't nothing wrong with getting car. But you can't sit, you can't let that shit be a burden unto you. Right. You lose it, you lose it. Right, and, and the Lord will, you know, work something out for, you know, you can continue on, man. No, man. Getting your daily bread, man. No, not, not only this, that, hey, this is not our rest. Right. You know? So if, if you do get a land or a house, you know, you can't be content, you know. Yeah. It, 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 you got to be prepared to be uncomfortable again. Right. Because you know? right. the Lord gives and he takes Right, right. Just know that you're going to lose it, man. You're going to lose everything here in Babylon, man. 
Uh, I'm a perfect witness to that, man, because the Lord gave me some things and he took it away, man. You know, because this ain't our rest, man. Because see, Jake, Jake get a big ass house, you know, five bedroom, three bad, three and a half bad, whatever shit. He be like, nah, I can live comfortable. Nah, I can get, nah, I can find that rest. All right. Nigga, this still ain't your rest. We were put here to serve out a sentence, bro. All right. So them curses. Still gonna pull up on your ass whether you in your big house or not, bro. Yeah, right. nigga trying to escape prison in prison. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Nigga that, that nigga that got damn escaped out his cell. <laughs> it's still in the big ass cell. Yeah, hey, it, 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 it got damn. He escaped to the bigger cell. Yeah, hey, renovated. <laughs> Y'all they gotta get up out this cell. <laughs> nigga that, nigga that can buy five cells together. <laughs> They got a TV in there. They got mattresses uh, together. Yeah, he got about five mattresses. They made a king size bed. Yeah. Eat, eat, eat turkey and lamb. Got yeah. there. You got, got ribs. Got you got cable. You yeah. got fire stick, Wi Fi, yeah. and a phone. Yeah, yeah, you got that. You State live. prison is got that in Still in prison. You got that living better than nothing you was out here, goddamn. Yeah. Fuck this horse, yeah. I'm going to get up out this boy. Yeah. We're trying to get out the prison completely, man. Right, man. But we don't want the curses on this. We don't want to be in the prison right. house. Fuck that. Right. Nigga, like, all, you such, all you can do is go to the yard. Right. That right. basically how our life is. We fucking in prison, man. Right. And every, wait to get called back in. Yeah, every day. What they do in prison? Y'all ain't got to get up and work. Yep. If you don't work, shit, you just in that motherfucker. So, shit, you want to at least... Yeah, pay some time, shit. I'm gonna try to get a job. Right. They might let me out early on good behavior. I'm gonna do everything I gotta do to get up out this motherfucker. I'm in all the little programs and shit. Right. Good behavior program. I'm trying to get up out this bitch, man. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and that's what we're doing through the spirit, man. You know, we trying to get up out of hell, man. Yeah, man. We trying to get up out of this prison. Good behavior and good works. Good behavior. Yep. Because we was already set free, man, with this truth. Yeah. You know, we just got to physically, it got to physically manifest itself now, man, when your house shot come back. Because the house shot, he already paid that, that, that ransom for us, man. He already paid that price with his blood. You know, that's why we got to remember the sacrifice that your house shot made for our unworthy asses, man. You know? Is, is joking telling that, right? We ain't in no joking time for no comedian. I think Bubba Dub, that nigga. Bubba Dub name. gonna get a dub missile <laughs> up his ass. <laughs> I think that's why I saw him in motherfucker. They say Bubba Dub. Bubba Dub, that new motherfucker. Yeah, that new motherfucker. Why your ass gonna get a warhead? <laughs> I got a, I got a precept back there. Right? This is Baruch 3 and 8. It say, Behold. We are yet this day in our captivity, yep. where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. Yeah, for a reproach, man, to correct our ass, man, because we went the fuck out, man. Mm. That's why the scriptures say, blessed is he, blessed, blessed is he that is not offended in me, man. We understand we went the fuck out. Now we deserve what we what we what the Lord put upon us, man. Mm. We deserve that, man. Mm. For a reproach and a curse. Yep. And to be subject to payments. Subject to payment, man. You can't, hey, every time you get a check, that bitch already gone. Already fucking gone. That bitch already gone, man. Uh, or if you put it in your pocket, your pocket got holes in it. It's going to dwindle away somewhere else, man. Gone. See, you got high-ass gas prices. Food high as ever. Gone. You ain't even, look, you you just eating for the week. You ain't paying no bills. You just eating for the week. All right. Yo, goddamn shit gone just for eating, right. bro. Be yeah. like, damn, I ain't paid no fucking bill yet. Don't try to go grocery shopping. The no. oh. Why they finna knock your motherfucking head out? Especially it, if you're hungry. It, <laughs> but there's no way, there's no way you finna go in the store yep. and, and goddamn be able to eat lamb every day. Right. But yeah. shit. shit, you better be bringing home goddamn a couple thousand dollars shit. a week. You got to. Yeah, you gonna have to be bringing home at least two, three thousand dollars a week right. to even eat real, real good. Yeah, you know, to even eat halfway good, yeah. man, halfway decent. Man. So you gotta, you know, that's why. Hey, <laughs> we in captivity, man. We gonna eat our bread to find amongst the Gentiles. That's right, man. Of course, you gotta do it best as you can, but shit. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. we in captivity, and this shit happens. Yep. 
right, 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 man. And we're going to be in captivity until your house shot come and get us, man. Our big brother, he coming to get the elect. You know, Lord willing, we'll be at that number. If not, we already know what the plan is. And we still gonna give glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah for coming to get his elect. Like he said he was, because his words are faithful and true, man. You know, even if we don't make it, we still gonna give all glory and praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. We tried. We tried, man. And that's the mind state you gotta be in, man. man. And if I might add, shit, we supposed to get paid every day when we do when we work before <laughs> sundown. <laughs> but we get paid weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, salary, yearly. Right, man. Year six months. Right, man. We in captivity, man. Yeah, yeah right. It's gonna be required. Right here. Fi <laughs> finishing up this uh precept, it say, according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord Yahweh our power. Yep, the iniquities of our fathers, man. Mm. Because we are all for fathers, man. Mm. And we gotta we gotta we gotta bear those indignation from the Lord, man, because we sinned against him, man. Right? Mm. You know? But there's all to it, man. And we understand that. That's why this is higher, this is high level thinking, bro. Like the other Yashawamba always say, man. This is high level thinking, man. Not the average Jake can think like this, man. Every Jake is too fucking carnal, man. Right. Hey, they don't see past America, man. Yeah. They don't have to kill. <laughs> they don't, man. That, that, that's why they come up with that bullshit. Goddamn, live, live every day like you gonna die tomorrow. Yo. Yeah, that's your yeah. shit, man. And yeah, that's why. That's, that's why the that's apostles. That's some satanic shit. Like, oh, you good? You that's good. some uh, Satan worship shit. Con, right. con. And that's why the apostles and the elders on down say, you know, that this is this is higher level of thinking. Because this is ultimately what's gonna get us that salvation, man. Yeah. You know, you can't be around here thinking carnal all the damn time, man. Yeah. You know, how I'm gonna get my next riches and yeah. my next whip and all that type of dumb shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. The, the scriptures the say the ways of a man, what, what it say? A, a, a man thinking he do good, roughly paraphrasing, a man thinking he do good, but the end of, you know, of his ways is death. You know, because hey, that, that man is carnally, man. He, he car, carnally minded, man. Oh. Part of mind is given to the most high. Enemy to the most high. Right, man. Make you an enemy to the most high. Wow. That's it on that one. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get to the main event, man. Oh, you got some? Sit back just with you. Go ahead. Yeah. This Philippians chapter 3, verse 6. It says, Concerning zeal, persecuting. It's like it, verse it's like it, verse seven. But what things were gained to me, those I count lost for Hamashiach, yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach Yahushua, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, yeah. and do count them but but dung, that I may win Yahushua Hamashiach. Yeah, man, because the disciples asked him, you know, what shall we receive for following you, man? We have lost all. How right. shall I say, you're going to receive 100 fold, man. Right. Everything you lost, you're going to get back in some, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's why being, we follow your whole shot, man. That's mm -hmm. being spiritually minded. That's right, man. Right. Yeah. Because we ain't got shit here, man. Hey, man, Edomites can roll up on us right now and take off everything we got right now, man. We don't own this shit. Even though we take it home with us every night. They can pull up on our ass at our house. Doop, 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 doop. Hey, we got papers to revoke this shit. Did you feel me? Hey, you can write this shit. <laughs> you know? He saw the thief. He the yeah. thief that coming but to steal, kill, and destroy. And, destroy, man. and that's why I say set your affections on things above yeah. where the thief cannot come through and steal. Yo, yo, because yeah. we know this shit can be taken from us at yeah. any fucking time, man. You yeah. got all kind of executive order. Your house can be seized. Right. Your car can be seized. Lamb. Children. Your, your, your children, your yep. food. Yep. So what the fuck do you have, man? Nothing. Nothing. In the kingdom of heaven, you think we gonna have an executive order? Right. You know? Right. No, man. No, we are. That's some unrighteous, wicked ass shit, man. Yeah, yeah, man. You know? Right, man. And now people better find out. Because he's gonna pull that shit. He put that shit and write that shit in the law for that. Yeah, he, no. he, he, Put them executive orders out there for that. Esau gonna show you dumb ass niggas that he is Satan. Yep. That he is the devil that the Bible speaks of, right. man. Yep. Since y'all wanna kiss his ass, all the white man ain't all, you know, 
Yeah. Hey, 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 and then they, they literally think that, man. They, they kiss the shit out of that white man's ass, man. Yeah, kiss the shit out of the white man's ass. No, I, I was going to say them Uncle Tom, but them ain't Uncle Tom. What they call Uncle Tom? Uh, the, the right one, the good one. Um, Sambo. 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 Coon. Coon ass. Coon ass. Coon ass nigga. Shuck and jive ass nigga. Uncle Tom wasn't no shuck and jive ass nigga. Yeah. Right uh, there, move the bar Uncle Tom. This Isaiah 10 verse 1 Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees And their right grievous, Grievousness Isaiah 10 and 1 Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees And their right grievousness Which they have prescribed To turn aside the needy from judgment And to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. Because basically, the Edomites, man, they hey, they 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 write these unrighteous decrees, like you said, they write these laws up. Shit, basically, a, 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 a birth certificate is an unrighteous fucking decree. Man. Right. Social security card is an unrighteous fucking decree. Man. Like the driver, like the like license. Hunting license, man. I don't know. Hunting license, man. Fuck y'all, man. You know, land taxes. Yep. All that shit. Hunting license to free you. And some shit joy is supposed to be yours. It's supposed to be yours, yep. You know? And that's how you know. That's how we know we ain't got no freedom here, man. That's how you know you don't own a, a bitch ass thing. Hell no, we don't own ourselves. Right. Shit, you gotta pay taxes on something that you own. You don't own that shit, man. We don't own ourselves, let alone anything else, man. Right. You know? right. We don't own our kids, none of that, man. None of that. These fucking devils own all this shit, man. And that's how the Most High designed it, man. For these fucking Edomites and these other heathens to be the whooping stick to us, man. To beat our ass when we get out of line. And that's what they did because they, they can't nobody can't nobody refuse the will of the of, your, of the heavenly Father. Whatever He created you to do, that's what the fuck you gonna do, man. Right. You gonna stand in your lap 100, percent man. Right. You know, that's why we hope that we be a part of the elect, man, because we don't know if we gonna fall out of this truth in the long run, trying to run this spiritual race, man. The race is not won by the swift, but him that endure, man. Right. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Oh, that's the pretty much the, well, let's see. I get some more. And what will ye do in the day of visitation and in a day which shall come from a, from far? <laughs> yeah, that's because because the, the Lord doing it. What what you gonna do if the Lord bringing it? All you can do is pray to the Lord if you're an Israelite, nope. but for Him to have mercy on you. Yeah, that's how you know the Lord is Jake. He say, what the fuck you gonna do? <laughs> when I pull up, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? In the day of visitation. Hey, when I come see your ass, you ain't gonna do shit. When I come see your ass, Jake. You gonna take like this, Yeah, Jake, I Jake, 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 it said, and what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the desolation which shall come from far? <laughs> That's the thermonuclear missile, man. It says, which shall come from far, to whom will ye flee for help? Who the fuck you gonna run to for help, man? Who the fuck you gonna call? When this this is the Lord bringing all these things about, man. What that one so who can we run to? <laughs> I later be saying. Uh, yeah. The shadow is still space. It's gonna be a lot of goddamn <laughs> space. That's goddamn. escape, goddamn. It's gonna be a lot of Look, that, space. That, that's the spirit, though. The name of the group is Escape. <laughs> ah, hey, that's that tiny them. That T-I-O-N-Y, tiny. That and, is. And candy, yeah. Damn, yeah, yeah. I just know the song. 
Hey, I'm old school. I remember that shit. That's yeah. escape, bro. Yeah, the Where the fuck you going to escape to? To share this empty space. Shit. It's coming out. Out of empty space, goddamn. That shit. That's what it is. That would be the poor man of the Lord in that day. <laughs> it says, and where will ye leave your glory? Without me, they shall bow down under the prisoners, and they shall fall under the slain. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. And the Lord's hand is stretched out still, man. Right. Why? Because the destruction hasn't came yet, man. Right. The, the, the mark, the, the corruption hasn't been implemented yet, man. The Lord's hand is still stretched out, man. You still have grace period, so to say, yeah, man. Yeah, the Lord has stretched out through his men on the highways ahead. Right. The Lord will and will part of this, though. Yep. But the men of the Lord, you know, all the camps, not yep. just GMS, yep. all the camps still out teaching yep. that you are an Israelite. Repent, for the Lord is going to return and destroy this place. Right, man. You know, yep. all the camps that teach that. Yep. You know, yep. the, that's the Lord hand stretched out, man. Oh. Showing now people who, uh, who not in this same person. Yep. Pick, come back to me. Yep. You know, learn my name. Learn it, learn it. Yep. Don't go it too late. Yep. You know? But I, I mentioned that the, the, the karama hasn't been implemented yet and the destruction hasn't come, but ultimately the family of the world hasn't came yet. Because like you said, this is the law of hands still stretched out by the count still being on out on the highways and byways, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the family of the world hasn't came just yet. This is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. Uh, no, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. It say, the Lord is not slack concerning his, his promise. As some men count slackness, but his long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Oh, no, and, uh, and, and you know, the Lord got his hands stretched out still, man. He, he don't want his people to die, man. But you, you two thirds, you gonna, y'all are rebellious as hell, man. You know, so hey, it ain't gonna be no trust but for the Lord to kill you, man. Yeah, yeah. You know. Cause, yeah, I got you. Cause, cause, like, you got now, I'm just gonna say, uh, real quick, you know, the two thirds, the Lord didn't get them faith, the gift of faith, so. <laughs> that shit be coming, man. Yeah, I'm it's like yeah, like yeah, 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 ye
we know without this coming into play, we ain't gonna get our kingdom, man. You know, so the the, fa the faster you how about some y'all shot speed up these prophecies, the faster we can get the kingdom, man. And, and you know, we 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 being watchmen, you know, if you pay attention, everything happened in these other countries before it come to this great kingdom here in America, man. Yep. Be trial, you know? Right. You know, they 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 running trials. To see, you know, to, to see the, re the reaction, you know, the, the outcome of things, man. Yep. You know, the masses is going to accept it. Right. Or not accept it. Right. And it, 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 here in America, it's going to be 10 times worse, man. If not more, man. You know. But it say, especially over the internet, types of digital currency includes Cryptocurrency. See, cryptocurrency one of them. So all you motherfuckers talking about that Bitcoin shit. Bitcoin, hey, Bitcoin leads to the corruption, man. Mm. Bitcoin leads to the corruption. If you got Bitcoin and you in this truth, you might well forget about it, man. Right. Leave the bullshit where it's at, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bitcoin was only designed for you to hey, get some of that shit for a little while. But when this when this corruption come into play, Leave that shit alone, man. Or you're gonna be find yourself getting pricked inside of your hand or your forehead. Right, man. <laughs> Cause you wanna keep your goddamn digital currency, your cryptocurrency. Right. Your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, yeah. your Chanu M Nu, whatever that bullshit called. Right. And Rex, you hold it up to your ear. Yeah. And right. like uh like I saw another article where they said the, the Bahamas was the first ones to accept that uh I think the CBDC. They got a they got a they got a coin called the sand dollar, I believe. Let me see what it was. Dang. Yeah. It's called uh that might see. Be. Let's see if I can find it right quick. Well you can see it's the sand that shit that shit is But that though no, Yeah, that's what it's called. It says Central bank is the currency, the first nationwide CBDC in the world has been launched by the Bahamas. And it's called the sand dollar. <laughs> because they on the island, get it, sand dollar? They on the island, the sand dollar. Yeah. It's a virtual currency and central bank digital currency. Digital. Yeah. Digital currency may be recorded on a distributed database on the internet and a central a centralized electronic computer database. Yeah. And then they want to say that the that the Bitcoin and all that shit is decentralized. That's a motherfucking lie. Right. Anything going down in this man kingdom, that shit is it's centralized. Especially dealing with buying the silver. Right. Right, because that shit leads to the monk, man. Like Esau ain't got his hands in, or the, the international bankers ain't got their hands in on that shit. They the one who created that dumb shit. Yeah, they created and gave you the goddamn condition of mind. That's right. right. They got their even hands if in it there, is, What it is, even if it is, what it say, decentralized. Decentralized. Even if it is. It's just like that, so you can be like, yeah, yeah, this Let's is get it. into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when he want to get rid of this shit, he can get rid of it whenever he want. Fuck yeah. Big Bitcoin at an all time low. No. No. Do you know? Mm -hmm. So he can goddamn bring that shit back down to a penny, and motherfuckers just bought it at twenty thousand, fifty thousand, ten thousand. You done lost every fucking thing. Fuck yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You saw I can do away with it. Completely, like it ain't no more Bitcoin. That shit, you can't buy nothing with Bitcoin. No more. Right. If all the countries say you can't buy nothing with Bitcoin, goddamn it, you can't, can't buy nothing buy with no Bitcoin. Facts. It say a centralized electronic computer database owned by a company or a bank within digital files, or even on a stored value card. Mm -hmm. It say digital currencies exhibit. Uh, properties similar to tr traditional currencies but generally do not have a physical form unlike currencies so it ain't fucking real 
<laughs> right. Yeah. You know? It's digital. Yeah. It's digital. Yeah. Why would you want some shit that's digital? <laughs> right. You, that's that's yeah. total control. It is. You know? It is. That's total, absolute, total control. And whose who's data bank is it stored on? Not yours. Yeah. Right. It's that's, stored on the man data bank. That's why the elite say, give me control of a nation's money. I don't give a fuck who makes the laws. Right. Right. <laughs> and let me get that bread up out. Let me control that bread. I don't care who makes the law. Right. Because if I got control of that bread, I'm going to manipulate the law. Yo. They can make any law they want, goddamn. Come, goddamn, okay, shit. You want to make that dumb ass law, goddamn. Boys getting cooked yep. for everything. Man, okay, well, look, got that one law y'all want to put fish in. Okay. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And that's like they telling, uh, I saw a video, uh, for Dosha Pop, Pop made. I think that's a nice, like, if I butchered it, but, uh, he dropped a video saying basically, like, all these motherfuckers that got millions of dollars and shit, they're gonna have to cash that shit in, trade that shit in, man. For this CBDC, well, but look though, that, look, thank you. When the wisdom of that shit on your goddamn on your on your Karabma, man? Yeah, a uh, 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 300, 300, a uh, 300 CBDC. Right, right. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. That was like a car, 300 CBDC, 300,000. Yeah. 300,000, 300,000. Uh, they took 10% away from your yeah. ass. <laughs> yeah, we have that boy in 10. Yeah, them bitches left you with goddamn little. Exhausted. They left they, no funds. They left exhausted. you with 10%. Yeah, yeah they left you with 10%. Like 10% of some yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. They exhausted your funds, that's what they call it. <laughs> they raped your ass. They ripped your ass off, bro. Hey, that's the devil, man. Esau Edom, the so called white man, the devil that the Bible talking about, bro. Y'all better stop playing with Uncle. Y'all don't know yeah. how Uncle get down. That yeah, nigga not righteous as hell, man. Fuck yeah, man. Right. Get back in the digital or digital person. All right. All right. It say, but generally do not have a physical form, unlike currencies with printed banknotes. So I can, if I can add though, another thing about this CBD, you think they gonna just say, oh yeah, CBDC? <laughs> Boom, you got the CBDC, you download the app. No, <laughs> that nigga go shit. But before you can do anything, you gotta get this on, um, like a pasta roll like this secret. You, know? <laughs> you gotta get this Dorito <laughs> chip, man. No it's served deal. in you, man. No deal. Uh, the Lord coming with the deal. You want the spicy Ooh. kind or you want the cool ranch? Don't, don't be spicy, man. You want the flame and hot. Yeah, the flame and hot. The flame and hot. It say, but generally do not have a physical form or like currencies with printed banknotes or minted coins. Yeah, printed banknotes and minted coins is gonna be a thing or the fucking bad, bro. And, and don't none of these motherfuckers see it, man. No, no. Yeah. Like I said, they want to go see Big Duke, Big Who? Uh, the, the, the comedian over there? Uh, uh, sure. Big Boom or some guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they want to, these motherfuckers over there blind, bro. They want to go see. Dog. Yeah, Boba Dog. They want to go see Boba Dog over there at the goddamn comedy show. Laughing and shit. Mother I, Queen in the time of Murph. Yeah, they, 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 I don't know if it's this week, but somebody, they playing bad. And we gonna use it as his ad to come yeah. this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This ad coming yeah. one of these weeks. Man, hey, man. they gonna get caught like a thief in the motherfucking night listening to goddamn Bubba Gump over there. Yeah. Yeah. Bubba Gump. Laughing their ass off. Bruce, Bruce and shit. Hey, the, 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 script, the scripture tell you what, what it says. Oh. At the yeah. end of the laugh, it's, it's, uh, it's heaven is very Heaven is the sadness. You gotta go home. Yeah. 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 You know, all kinds of dumb shit, man. Hey, you might as well have gone ahead and continue to be, you know, in, 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 in that heavy spirit, you know, with money in your pocket. <laughs> then to go out and have the time you got damn shit. You got dollars in your damn hey, pocket. <laughs> at the end of the day, goddamn, you got $28 in your pocket because you done went out and did this. 
<laughs> and, and in reality, it sunk in. I oh, I wish I wouldn't even did that. Yeah. Goddamn, that's that sadness you know? after that murder, right? Man. You know, hey, these scriptures are real, man. It say this lack of physical, this <laughs> this this lack of physical form allows nearly is instantaneous. It's, instantaneous transactions okay it allows instantaneous transactions because it's over a database man right man. that lets you know that they can instantaneously put some shit on your shit or they can instantly instantaneously take some shit off your shit you know, how, you know, you got how, how they instantaneously gonna come through that 6g man that they speaking about already man. yeah, yeah. And, and i was gonna say Ultimately, with this CBDC, it's the devil giving you permission for anything you want. Right. So right. if he allowed you to obtain something, it's right. because he gave you permission to obtain. Right. Because you really ain't got nothing. Right. Yeah. You just going. That's why I talk about a social credit score and all yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah. You you that. you going asking permission yep. for a bag of rice. Right. Some tea. Right. You know. And we were watching the like it, we were watching the video when we were sitting in the car about it was a it was a female going into it and how the social credit score going to tie in with that like say like you can't you can't try to uprise against the government on this shit man Not because right. it's gonna knock your social credit score down and it's gonna deplete your fucking funds it's whatever funds you got on that parole yeah man. you ain't gonna be able to drive yeah you ain't gonna be able to catch the wave but yep, yep. The same shit that happened in China, the same shit coming over here, man. And a good example of that is to go watch Demolition Man, man. Right. That movie there, man. How when Wesley Snipe was saying them cussing words and shit, be like, motherfucker, and then you get one to marry. He pulled a little ticket out the little machine yeah. and shit. He just kept pulling them so he could have something to wipe his ass with. <laughs> but that's how it's gonna be, man. Right. This shit hey. real, man. This shit ain't no conspiracy, man. That's why Klaus Swamp said, goddamn, damn, you are all nothing no to be <laughs> right, 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 right. That's what I meant. Come, uh, water. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you got Jake. They think they free as a bitch over there. Yeah, come. We free. We ain't like China or Russia. Shit, nigga, we were. he's up to show you. Wait. Goddamn, who he is. Right. They don't be speaking to China and Russia. All they know, goddamn, they ain't got chains around they neck. The thing about it, the motherfuckers over there in Asia. They ain't as proud as these Americans. Why? Because they don't have fucking weapons, man. The motherfuckers can't have weapons like motherfuckers over here. See, that's what give these Americans all their pride. They know they got all the ARs, all the AKs, all the shotguns, all the 357s, pistols, rocket launchers, grenade launchers, switches, bulletproof vests, armored tanks, armored vehicles, 308s. Man, these motherfuckers ready to go to war with this That's bitch, why it's going to go down so bad over yeah. here. It's going to be a real war going out there. Yeah, man. Like, when it go down, it's going to fucking go down. It ain't going to be no kind of... Right. When it really go down, it's going to be It's going to be... Up. It ain't going to be no turning this bitch back now. Yeah, it's going to be just like some military, goddamn. You're going to be like, God damn, where we at? In the war zone? You go to certain hoods and you be like, damn, what the fuck? Yeah, oh. nigga shooting like a motherfucker. Like, oh. like, like, yeah, like, yeah. In the conflict, yeah. In the conflict zone, goddamn. In the Middle East, goddamn. And that's just what Jake Gaza Strip. You know, Esau ain't even splatting shit right now. Right. When Esau pull his shit out, you gonna be like, oh, hell nah. Mm -hmm. They been gonna pull out some real artillery for your ass. Yeah, yeah. Esau gonna pull down the street with a gun on top of his shit. Yeah. Shit, pull out a tape. He saw really got, yeah, he, that shit ain't no game, bro. Look it up on the internet. He saw got shit like that yeah, in real life, man. Okay, man. Shoot a big ass 50. Ooh, 50. <laughs> goddamn BMG. Yeah, sitting on top Willis of that goddamn big, that big dumb ass alone. 50, goddamn. Put his own your fucking cell phone, Shoot man. through the fucking tree, man. Knock the house off the head and off the foundation. Crazy, man. Hey, this is real. Huh? It's a this lack of physical form allows nearly instantaneous transactions over the internet and removes the cost associated with distribution. Internet of things. Right. Over the internet. Everything gonna be connected to the internet of things.
fourth industrial revolution. It said and remove the costs associated with distributing notes and coins, usually not issued by a governmental body. Virtual currencies are not considered a legal tender, mm -hmm. and they enable ownership transfer across governmental borders. Right. It say this type of currency may be used by physical goods. Okay, let's start right there. Physical goods. Top on that. Top on goods. Physical goods. Because hey, <laughs> this what it's coming down to, man. Read that. Uh, it say in economics, goods are items that satisfy human wants. Goods that satisfy human wants. Not only wants, your fucking needs. needs. Necessities. You know? Okay, so let's say a canned good. Uh. <laughs> a can, some simple as a canned good, bro. Of beans, of green beans, of uh, uh. corn. What else you got? Goddamn mixed vegetables, mixed vegetables, carrots, <laughs> just some goddamn soup. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Potatoes, right. beef soup. Yeah, because these are the things. These are the these are the physical goods that they're gonna use against you to take that corrupt man. To take that digital currency, man. This is what's coming into play, man. So we gonna get in the structures. Got it. Yeah. It say and provide use utility. For example, to a consumer making a purchase of a satisfying product. A purchase of a satisfying product, man. And we know in Revelation 13 chapter, say you ain't gonna be able to buy, sell, or trade without this shit, man. You know? Let's go ahead and pull that out. And what, 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 what can a product satisfy? Your hunger and your thirst. That's right, right man. Look, then that's why the Lord say, man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of my mouth. See, and he, he said, if you hungry, come to me. I am the bread. I am the water. So yeah. we just gonna trust in the Lord, and we gonna, you know, we ain't gonna do a bitch or anything, but the Lord right, gonna man. show you. Uh, 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 Lord willing, we're part of that number. The Lord's gonna show you what you get for trusting in the Lord, right? Because she, even if you do take the sea hill, you know, the crowd, right? Hey, that ain't guaranteed he's not gonna feed your That's man. right. That's he's right. Saw still gonna starve motherfuckers out, yeah, right. because you know? it's the Lord's we plan, ultimately. Too. We got that too. Yeah, so like, it's the Lord's plan, ultimately. If the Lord want to put the spirit on this goddamn devil to still starve your ass, even though you took this shit. That's the Lord plan for you to steal goddamn stuff, man. Because, so like, if I can add, Esau has no room for you fucking Americans in his new world order. He don't, man. Esau finna, that's why it's gonna be so bad. Esau know it's gonna be so bad over there. Because these people proud as hell, all that patriot shit. Yep. They ain't got no room for that in the new world order. Right, right. They ain't want no fucking patriot shit. They want total shit. subjection. Yeah, they want motherfuckers who gonna submit. Yep. You know the five percent that survive in America, what they planning on? Yep. <laughs> they might allow them in, come around them up. Yep. But ain't nobody gonna survive in America if the Lord don't deliver. Right, man. Back y'all, oh, yeah, yeah, just yeah, saying yeah. about the money. Um, this Haggai one and oh, uh, you got it. Uh, Haggai yeah. one and five. Now, therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts: Consider your ways. Ye have so much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And and he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag with holes. Just like the brother saying, don't matter these millionaires, they got millions of dollars. When they transfer over to that digital currency, Esau gonna give them however the fuck much he wanna give them. Yeah. It ain't. Yeah. He might take this shit all the way to zero. Yeah, especially these rich niggas, motherfuckers like LeBron and Man, Esau probably finna do so much. Esau probably finna pull a, a, a goddamn Houdini on these niggas, man. When he implements shit, y'all yeah. let shit. Yeah. Yeah. Scripture say, never trust our enemy. Y'all had y'all time. We gave y
real need all y'all. That's me. We don't know how this shit gonna go. Hey, can't fucking have real. That's the Lord judging two thirds of Israel. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they made a covenant with death, man. That death is not that 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 that, that death is not gonna pass by you, so to say. Your covenant with death shall not be disturbed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that and that's as far as the poor people. They might come at you with uh, with your reparations you've been waiting on. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you hey, get this, gonna hey, use some reparations. Yeah. Devil gonna use some damn cunning, some, some cunning tactics, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hey, like the scripture said, if it was possible, he would see the uh, very elect. Well, if you don't have faith in your house, by some your house, you ain't done. Right 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 Esau here. got you. Got you got. You Nigga. don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. Yeah, yep. fuck up took the jail for a donut, man. For a tin pan. Free blood. Yo, she uh, got that Happy Meal. Oh, shit, I yep. get some of that gag, guy. Nigga in California. Nigga in California. Oh, shit, I get a free lunch <laughs> then. Hey, no, no, those were some lame ass tactics he thought was coming with, bro. Yeah, motherfucker went for that shit. Oh, I get five hundred dollars. You mean tell me I get a two piece of the Lord soda? Yeah. yeah. Free burger. <laughs> free burger. A chicken sandwich. Burger. Not even a combo. Of free burger, man. Free hamburger. That shit crazy. He saw for the goddamn do it, but he really gonna do it with that chip. Yeah. He yeah. gonna come with some real. He gonna. Yeah. See that shit was light work, Bill. Right. Because he knows it's a lot of stupid, dumbfounded motherfuckers in America, man. Right. That was light work. He's off finna come with the real fucking deal this time, man. Because this is prophecy this man finna come with, no? All right. You have some guests on it? Get back in the head, All right. It's a, to a consumer making a purchase of a satisfied product, a common distinction is made between goods which are transferable and services which are not transferable. amount of human and non-human resources which the best technical knowledge is capable of using to produce only limited maximum amounts of each economic good. If the conditions of scarcity didn't exist and an infinite, an infinite amount of every good could be produced or human wants fully satisfied, there would be no economic goods, i.e. goods that are relatively scarce. Scarcity is the limited availability of a commodity which may be in demand in the market or by the commons. Scarcity also includes an individual's lack of resources to buy commodities. It says an individual's lack of resources to buy commodities. So when they get ready to switch this system over, you're going to have a lack of resources to buy these commodities, man. So guess what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to go and get the new, you're going to have to go and be a part of the new system that was implemented to even be a part, of, to even be able to get those commodities, to even be able to get the resources to get those commodities, man. <laughs> that's what it's going into, man. That's what, that's, that's what we're getting ready to, these are the times we're getting ready to go into, man. And they are right upon our doorstep right now, man. So, good on that. You can get back into uh, get back to the present. Is that uh, 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 digital currency? It's a 
this type of currency may be used to buy physical goods and services, but may also be restricted to certain commodities, such as for use inside an online game. It says digital money can either be centralized, where there is a central point of control over the money supply, yeah, one world, the one world government, Come one on. world order, NWO, man. Right. Right. You know? Right. It's say, for instance, a bank or decentralized where the control over the money supply is predetermined or agreed upon democratically. Democratically, man. All that democratic and Republican shit is about to be a thing of the past, man. For the B system, man. Democrats the same damn thing. Right, Left wing, right wing, same, same bird, bird, bird same that eagle. That bitch flying wheel. Yeah. It's in coordination. They're working together. Yeah, it's you, it's the you. The right you. wing ain't working against the left one, and the left right. one ain't working against the right one. They flying this fucking eagle together, man. It's just you stupid ass people that are against each other, man, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's divide and conquer. Yeah. And they divided you stupid motherfucker very well, man. They had us divided, you know. Yeah. But through the spirit of Paul, when y'all about to me y'all shot, we coming back together, man, building this third, this third temple, man, this spiritual yeah. temple. With, with your hover shop being the cornerstone. We don't go down there and take part in that stupid ass Parkinson system, man. That fucking voting system, man. We know through the scripture that the Lord say don't set them motherfuckers over us, man. All right. So all you niggas running down there to them fucking poles. You can die at them poles, It'll man. Make a, we can make a change for the future. Bitch, you been voting all these years and ain't shit change. Ain't shit change, man. She a weed and slave, you know, no weed. Shit. Bitch, oh, you think it's a slave to your mind? Hey, hey I, I was trying to come to put your ass in the devil. They still the want world. to be slaves. They got their turn. They changed it to gold chains. Right. Ice dot chain. You motherfuckers still got their slave in the mind. Hey, right. And them niggas got down with all that money. They super slaves. Hell yeah. Yeah, them niggas ain't got no motherfucker. You might think they living a life, but no, them motherfuckers catch a pure hell. Yeah, but the thing yeah, about it, who to say you buying real fucking diamonds, man? Yeah. And you diamonds, could be buying it's, in, it's inexpensive any fucking way. A diamond ain't no precious. No. It, it is, but it, it ain't. Is, but, yeah. Diamonds are precious. Yeah. That's why they use <laughs> they use diamonds because they can get so many of them. Right. It's a it's a nice looking stone, but it ain't it ain't it ain't opal. Right. You know? Right. It, Ethiopian it, it ain't it sad. ain't no real, it ain't rubies. Right. It ain't no emeralds. Right. When you see the queen that part. Right. When you see the queen of well, bitch, bro, the queen England. of England, when you see that whole walking with that crown. Queen of Wales. That bitch ain't got no diamonds in that motherfucker. Yeah, that whole right. guy. Fat ass rubies and <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker got yeah, shit. that bitch yeah. got real. And if it, if she do got a diamond, that bitch gonna have some color. Yeah, it ain't gonna just be no white diamond. That bitch gonna be big as fuck. I can tell you that. Right. Yeah, that that diamond shit ain't, and that shit ain't even if it is big, it's it's really worthless, man. Right. It ain't diamond shouldn't be what what they charge. What they cost, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't. Spend goddamn thirty thousand dollars right. on some diamond teeth. You get fucked, man. Yeah. Because diamonds yeah. ain't really all uh, that like they act like. Because they ain't really rare earth minerals. Mm -hmm. yeah. They say you can make them out of what? Uh, coal. Yup. I think some pressure. Yup. Yup. How y'all doing? Let's see you guys. This is my other son. I wanted him to meet you all. Oh, okay, then. Uh, how you doing, brother? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, we just going into that uh that uh digital currency that they getting ready to come out with, you know. Y'all heard about that? Nah, I mean you know It's basically basically what it is is they getting ready to they getting ready to crash the dollar. They finna get ready to implement a new system under the new world order. They're gonna crash the dollar. They're gonna bring they gonna bring this digital currency, which is uh you I know you done heard of like Bitcoin, right. Ethereum and all that, all Bitcoin. that stuff, all that stuff lead to the month of the future. You know, 
want to release is that is that microchip that they're gonna implant inside of your hand or right. or your forehead. They're gonna try to, yeah. Yep. But that's what we get, that's what we was getting into before y'all walked up and stuff. But um I got that order. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Get what you got. And this is an executive order that just got put into place uh, that right. uh, Biden signed the plan. I don't know when it's going to be enacted. Because they they doing it while all the people, they ain't paying attention. And they signing different laws into place that's going to affect the people. You got it. Wait till they pass my government agencies to look at the risks and benefits of digital currencies. It says five months later, or it's five months later, social media users are spreading unsupported theories about what the order will do. It says your paper money will become worthless. It's going to be replaced with Biden books. It says, read one Shirley Facebook post which added that programmable digital tokens would be able to turn off your account whenever they want using a social credit system, score system. Right. A global cashless society is being rolled out possibly in December 2022. Another post claim. December well, we 2022. Do know that, mm -hmm. No, we, we know they, the Bible tell us about the cash gonna be Throw it on the streets, right? And it's gonna be worthless. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. Yeah, cash is about to become obsolete. And uh, basically, like we were saying, that's that's the mark of the beast going into Revelation the 13th chapter. But we ain't gonna be able to buy, sell, or trade without it. Right. Nope. I'm gonna get that. It's um, Revelation chapter 13. Because because that's why. That's basically why we don't we don't agree with those other counts because they don't go into this like they should. You know, they, they say like the mark of the beast is basically a white woman or something like that. You know, yes. something simple. Yes. Yes. Right, right. But we, we, we teach the 100% truth of what the Bible teaches us, about what the Bible is saying. You know, starting with our elder apostle on down to our young brothers, we teaching the 100% truth. And we explain it to our people what the actual mark of the beast is. We giving we giving our people warning before it happens. Right. Because if we don't warn our people, then their blood gonna be upon our heads. Right. And the, all these councils who not warning the people, this the greatest prophecy that we waiting on, and that's the MOTB. If you take it, you can't repent from taking it. Right. So why would you not be warning your people, and letting them know what the, what it is? You know. Right. So yeah. we gotta we gotta do. This. We gonna we gonna get we gonna get the judgment out of the Bible that's gonna happen for people that gonna take that. This um this, this Revelation chapter thirteen and verse we gonna get straight to it. sixteen to say and he calls all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead and that no man might buy or save say he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name and that mark when you go into that word the mark right there is karam and you go into the word karam you go into insertion or uh, stake the palisade something basically like a needle they're going to stick something in you and that, that's all they talk about they starting to kind of throw it in, at, in the news and stuff if you watch it, like if you paying attention to this, because the Lord commanded us to be upon our watch. So when these things come upon us, we'll be aware of, and we can reject it and continue after the Lord. You know? like because, brother, oh, you got it. You know, like Brother saying, um, that's, that word karagma is like a carving in your flesh. And in uh, Leviticus uh, 19 and 28, it say we we not supposed to receive no 
I said, commandment, we can't get nothing carved in our flesh. You know, so that's going against it. No tattoos, none of that. That's right. going into basically like tattoos and stuff like that. That's what we feel like we are. That all is a tattoo. And all. See, what the what the Quran was really going into is uh, back in the ancient times when you was a, a, a slave. I mean, when, when you had, when you was, say, you was in debt or whatever, and you had to sell yourself in the servitude under under somebody else. You work out for a certain amount of time. Either you can, either you can um, basically be released from slavery, or you can stay with your master. And what what they did was they they inserted an awl into your ear and, and pierced your ear to, and I guess they put a ring or something on it to make. Uh, to identify you, you want to be a permanent slave until your master, and that's basically what the the MOTB is. It's a digital all you're receiving that digital mark, and so the Lord gonna look at you. Okay, you you want to serve your your enemy. You you made yourself a permanent servant unto him. Right. So I can't when I come back, I can't take you with you because you received this mark. Yeah. So you denied me and went after him. Yeah. You can only you, you gotta you gotta pick. You want to, you want to go choose the Lord, or you gonna choose this sister, right. this man, and his bark. So basically, we got to be ready to get this system up once they implement, once they crash the dollar because it's gonna come. We got to be ready to get this system up. You know, we gonna we gonna lose a lot of things. We are gonna lose houses, cars, whatever we whatever we think we possess. You know, but we got to still trust in the Lord, man, because that's Him bringing us through that through that fiery furnace of adversity. Right. Right. Because you're not gonna, you're not. Let's say how we do in the world. You're not gonna hang with somebody or call them your friend without proving them first. Okay. Proving that they are really your friends. That if they'll snitch on you, you know what I'm saying, something, something like that or that nature. They with you in the times of hardship. Yeah, hardship. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, or when you come into a piece of money, or they just around you to to spend what you got or if they were really dealt for you before you received all that, you know what I'm saying? So the Lord is the Lord is getting ready to prove us. He's getting ready to prove who really worship him and who really has faith in him. That's why he's bringing this about. See, this is the Lord's doing. This ain't this ain't this ain't Satan doing, this is the Lord doing. Like the Lord say, he that keepeth my work, my work, my word until the end, um, the same shall be saved, real prepared for him. Saying that keeping my word, I shall keep from the hour of temptation. Hour of temptation. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's I'll grab that. We, that's what we talking about. The, but you, know. you can grab that um, Revelation 14, going into the judgment of receiving it. That's why we so hard and heavy about the MOTP. That's why the Apostle Tahar start with him because he the main one who pushes. it. Like he always talking about it because if you take it, this is what you gonna receive. You know, and if you don't take it. This is Revelation 14, uh, starting at verse 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, and the beast, the beast is going into the revised Roman Empire. This this system that we are full of, America, NATO, EU, which uh, soon is going to be the, the, the new world order. Right. In China, Russia, all these country is going to be a part of it. They not, it's, the world is a stage, so they got them fighting against each other. People actually dying, but that's just how this man get down. He's sacrificing a lot of people to keep people confused, so to speak. Right. So when he bring this thing in, he want people to just think that it's just all, it's just going crazy, and we need some help. We, we need a solution to this problem. Right. See, he causing the problem, and he gonna come with the solution at the same time. Yeah, it's called order out chaos, order out of chaos. And you ever been in the military? Okay, so you you should be familiar with NATO and the EU and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the that's the beast right there. Beast. Yeah. I right, read no on um, Revelation 14 verse 9 it say, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image. And receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Because because see, Christianity teaches us that the mark of the beast is six six six. 
That's part of it. That's not all of it. It's going to be a literal mark. It's going to be a literal thing that they're going to put inside of your head. You got people saying uh, the mark of the beast is, is, is Christianity or, mm. or, or this system. You know, people saying all the kind of stuff. But it got to be a physical mark because we've been Christians before. Mm. So we received that mark. I know I came out Christian and I'm pretty sure y'all, you know, we all was Baptist or Methodist. So that means Holy we name. can't be saved. Because yep. the Lord said, like, if you receive that mark, we all was been baptized and brought up in the church. Yep. So we received the mark if that was the mark of the people. Right, right. And how can you not buy a sale if you, oh, I'm a Christian. What you going to walk in the store? I'm a Christian now. Yep. You know, so we know that can't be it. That can't be it. It gotta be some physical dealing with money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Okay, Christianity teaches us that that's hell. See, hell is not a literal place where you're going to burn forever. Hell is only a condition that we are in now. Because by us being the Lord's chosen people, he created us to be above all nations on the face of the planet. See, what Christianity don't teach is the most high is a racist. <laughs> you never heard that in your Christian church. Mm -hmm. I never heard it in the Christian church. But we can prove through the scriptures that the Lord and, and, and bringing out the definition of a racist and then going to get the scriptures to back what we're saying that the Lord is a racist. He, he is only for his people. He said that in Matthew 15 and 24. But, uh. Um, say all the nations are as Right. And like a drop that falling from a vessel. Mm -hmm. So if that ain't a racist statement, I don't know what it is. Right. You know, so the Lord created these nations for his people's sake, to right. be our servants. To be our servants. You know, but we, we gonna, went off and, you know. Yeah. We're gonna have slaves in the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is gonna be on earth. We're not gonna be angels like the Christian church teaches us. Right. We're gonna have physical bodies. We're gonna be in rulership. Yeah, just like we in this man's kingdom. Yep. He have a physical kingdom. Yep. Well, they got the finer things. You know, you, you see them, they on, you know, and they both this and Monday, you got, you got, you headed for work. He right. rides on the bus. We're just standing here in just 30 minutes. But uh, this, you want Revelation 3 and 10? Oh, uh, you have some more now. Go ahead. I think we got it. Uh, verse 11 it says, And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receives the mark of his name. Yeah, because that right there is going into thermonuclear destruction. That's going to be the judgment for receiving the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. Because contrary to popular belief, this country is going to go into World War III. Right. And this in America, America is Babylon in the scriptures. When the scriptures talk about Babylon, you got a physical Babylon, and you got America that's Babylon, Babylon the, great. The, great, the great city. And all so, Babylon means is Babal, which going to confusion. confusion. Mm -hmm. right. and that's all Babylon means. And, because, this, and if this ain't the land of confusion, right. I don't know where is it. Right. Because first and foremost, you don't know what's a woman. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's a man. So that's confusing within itself. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. But like I was saying, the, the judgment for receiving that mark is going to be thermonuclear destruction during World War III because the Lord got missiles on deck and he's going he gonna to allow Russia to shoot over here. Russia and all the other nations, even America allies, are going to shoot missiles on this place. And that's what's going bring to bring upon that lake of fire. Say like, say like if you throw a rock in a, in a lake, a puddle of water, what it's going to do is going to splash up and it's going to make that ripple effect. That's the same thing a nuclear missile do when it hit when it hit land. And wind coming off of it. Yep. Destroying okay. wind and make a mushroom cloud. Yep. That's gonna that's the lake of fire. Hell is hell is not a literal place where you're gonna burn forever. And, and then your spirit your spirit is a fire, so how can you burn if you're not in the flesh no more when you die? If you're not in the flesh, how can you burn? You ain't in the flesh, you just a spirit. That's why when you alive your body is hot. When you die, your body get cold because their spirit leaves the body. They keep your body warm. They keep it alive. Yeah. I got you. This uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. It says, Behold, I will make. Behold, I will make 
them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie, because we got, see, we live in the biggest case of identity theft ever. I know you know that, right? Because those people over there in our homeland, which is Israel, they say that they are the Jews, but they say that they are Jewish. When you look at the three letter suffix, ish, it means pertaining to or some like. Tight. Not really the actual thing, you know what I'm saying? We are the real Jews that the Bible talk about. They got that land during the Balfour Declaration during 1948. That's why we call them 1948ers. They got that land through through a, a political exercise, basically. And they basically got to put them right out of the unrighteous decree. Unrighteous decree, right, right. right. Says, we say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because the heavenly Father loves only us, his people. He don't love them people over there. They are heathens. It says, because thou, it says, verse 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, meaning keeping all the commandments to the best of your ability, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, and the hour of temptation is when they implement that CBDC, that digital currency, the mark of the beast. You know, that's when they, that's gonna be the hour of temptation because <laughs> you're gonna be tempted to take it. Let's say like, like, like right now they plan in a famine. They trying to starve people out. If you starve and you're gonna do anything to get something to eat, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all ever been hungry to the point to where you're willing to do whatever to get something to eat, man, you know? Hey, it's gonna get it's gonna get real real out here. It says, I will also keep them from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. See, this is the Lord getting ready to try us, to try our faith. You know, this is this is only a test. It says, Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And hold that fast is this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that the Lord has given us. I was just to say real quick, just like I said, in 19, Leviticus 19 and 28, we ain't supposed to receive that. So that's part of us keeping that faith, you know. Mm -hmm. The Lord trying us to see that word temptation means enticement, somebody trying to entice you to sin, you know, like they say with the food. And that's why you, you pray. <laughs> Shout out to the elders, Greg Millstone, teacher, we will. Peace, blessings, and say, taste of the hope he let. Shout out to the Lord.